while, but we're back and we're about to start the end of the bat of the Duelist Kingdom arc with Yugi versus Pegasus. Let's start it. The time has finally come. As champion of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, Yugi won the right to duel Maximilian Pegasus. Promise me you will free the souls of my grandfather and all the others. Yes, but if I am the one that defeats you instead, you have to feel your end of the bargain as well. Take a look at the card in your hand, Yugi boy. That's the reason why it's blank, for if I win, I claim your soul forever. You have much to gain, but much at risk as well. It's a risk I'm willing to take to free the souls of my grandpa and the others, but I don't plan to lose. I hate to disappoint you, Pegasus, but I have no intention of ever becoming a part of your soul car collection. Alright, and this is the duel against Pegasus, and... We're going to start with the story deck. So if you've seen the show, you know that in this duel he loves his Toon Monsters, and that's the one he uses in this duel. Uh, with a little bit of restriction, I mean with a little bit of a, uh, what do you call it, relinquish and Thousand Eyes Restrict. You can just focus on those other Toon Monsters. Uh, if you go with the Yugi deck for this one, um, his main goal is to summon... I think this one has a Black Luster Soldier. I mean, Black Luster, Black Magician of Dark Chaos in this deck. Yep, exactly. Black Magician of Chaos in this deck. That's what he was planning for. Due to the fact this is one of his earlier decks, uh, the monsters aren't that good, but... We're gonna see what we can get with this one. And we're just gonna set Beaver Warrior in turn. And he's gonna get... Once again, Toon World is the centerpiece of this deck. If you at least destroy that, this whole strategy falls apart. Most, yeah, like that. Yeah, and he can summon them, but they have a lot of restrictions, like paying... They're very... His early Toon Monsters are very light point heavy, so you don't have to worry too much about them. So we'll just build a defense here for now. So we're just going to build a defense here, because we don't have anything yet that could do some real damage. And once again, yeah, and he's trying to get his ritual cards so he can get, uh, yeah, relinquished, you know, the freaky thing that absorbs the other dual monsters, so we're going to try to get to see what he's doing with that. Alright, we survived that one. Let's see if we can power up a bit. Let's go on the offensive with the Horn Imp. And add a Horn of Unicorn with him. <laughs> I thought that was a little cool combo right there. We're going to attack him directly with that. Alright, that's some early damage for him. And because his uh, tune cards are very, like I said, life point heavy, like he kind of does a lot of damage himself. So, but still, you should be cautious because if he gets a specific card, dang it, like that, see? All right. Uh, we're gonna keep trying. We still need... Oh, we're gonna set another card. We still gotta play defensive until we can get a good card. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of the Toon World cards on here. Dang, we have all the Ritu cards, but nothing to summon them with. This is very frustrating right now. <laughs> oh no. So let's try to, uh, let's see. Yeah, Spell Shattering Arrow. This will get rid of his, um... Cause that's exactly what he used in the anime, ironic. Oh, dang. He had Dark Bribe to disable that. So, okay, so we're reviewing Light can buy some time. Yeah, okay, so we're buying some time here. Hopefully we can turn this around pretty quickly. Uh, 
Cause let's do Wing Dragon of the Fortress with Horn of the Unicorn to at least get some little power-ups. Like that. So we can still try to finish him off before he gets something dangerous out, out there. Like that, Black Luster Ritual. Yes, now we got another spell, Shattering Arrow. This one will get rid of that uh, Tune World. There we go, and his two monsters fall just like that. And we're going to keep attacking him with the level monsters. Yep. Starting to whittle him away right there. Let's Okay, yeah, he's starting his little combo with that. Uh, the so he has relinquished. Relinquish can be a little tricky because he can take control of the other. Mo oh, he's using both of them. Wow. Because he can take control of the other monsters. Uh, and you got to be careful of that. So. Oh, great. And it's not good. One of them. Luckily, only one of them has. Uh, only one of them can do some real damage. Uh, so we just gotta figure out a way to defeat him in like three turns. So, now, see, now I have this. I just need to, huh? Oh, sweet. Yes, advanced ritual art. We're gonna summon. And we're gonna sacrifice. And this is a good card. Nice, and I'm gonna summon the Magician of Black Chaos. Hey, look at that. Let's see. Okay, we gotta be careful because he's. Actually, let's get rid of this one because I know he's gonna try it. Yeah. Let's get rid of that one first because I know he's gonna try to take control of him once he tries to destroy this one. So, let's see how he does this one. All right. So, I think he should be. Yeah, he's going to defense. Oh, he's got Surge of Revealing Light, too. All right. Oh, uh, see just how we do it. Yeah, so we just got to burst through some of his defenses. Like, Giant Soldier of Stone can do that. So let's just start destroying his defenses. Since, oh, yeah, we can't attack. Surge of Revealing Light, all right. I should have seen that. Oh, that's it. Never seen Relinquish's attack and an animation in here. Okay, so he just got that. And we definitely got to get that out there before the Toon Gemini Elf does anything. And sweet, Mirror Force is here too. Alright, let's get... Okay. We got some good standings right now. Even if he tries to attack, we'll still get him. Uh, we're still gonna... We have Guy the Fearless Champion. But we still need the other things to summon him with, though. So. Oh. He's trying to copy us. And we're just gonna Mirror Force. Oh no! That bastard! Oh, he hit the safe zone. I did not expect that. Oh, he wasn't destroyed. Oh, okay, that's a little. Uh, that's a little not good. <laughs> okay, we got a dang. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <sighs> yeah, so we gotta beat him with this or something. And of course he's gonna try the same combo. Let's see if we can turn around. We still have a chance to turn it around. Let's see. But we need a monster to do it with. That's the thing. That's the issue we're having here. And oh god. Huh. 
attack me anyway if I don't do anything. So it's like... Oh, this is not good. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't even know why he did that. Uh, okay, huh, we gotta try this again. Alright, let's try a different deck. Cause we're gonna use our... I'm gonna go with my... Uh, let's go with the Synchro deck for this one. Just to bring some uh, Futuristic 5D's advantage in here. Yeah, he's not the hardest one to beat. You, you you just gotta watch out for his combos and everything. So we're gonna go to with our new deck. I wonder if they're gonna make a new uh, expansion where it has Link Monsters. Because if you, for those who don't know, um, Link Monsters have just been in introduced into the both the OCG and the TCG. So their mechanics are the blue monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. Their mechanics are. Uh, they're all right. It's just, nah, it, it'll take some getting used to. That really will take some getting used to until I feel like I can see any actual use in these in the Link Monster cards. We're going to the. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just gonna keep this up. And Tuner Monsters, and this... Like we saw before, the Synchro deck's pretty good. Oh, he dark bribed my rush recklessly? That doesn't sound too good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll end our turn right there. Uh, this, let's see what Pegasus has. He's gonna play Copycat. Uh, that card again. I'll play Compulsory Escape Device. And, okay, now let's start with the Black Salvo. Well, we're gonna start with our Tuner Black Salvo. Don't have anything, we're gonna flip over Blast Sphere. Yeah, let's get a Synchro Summon going. Huh? Just gonna try to blow him up with Blast Sphere, but this strategy's a little better too. Alright, we're gonna attack him. Oh, do you know what we're uh, Now we won't use Battle Tuned yet. Alright, got a good strategy right now, and we're back on it. And yeah, he's going for a Relinquish again. This one, yeah, it can get very tricky, so. Yeah, see, he's turning our stuff against us, so... Yeah, we better find a way to get rid of this guy fast. Or else it's not going to be a pretty good day for this one. And we really need to figure out something or else we're going to... Lose again! Oh god. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Alright. Let's still try the Synchro deck. I still have faith in this deck. Oh god. We're going to defeat Pegasus, trust me. I guess our soul was taken like two times already. Jeez, she goes...
Alright, we seem to have a more stable hand this time. Uh, he's playing Manju with Thousand Hands. He's already go for going for his Relinquish strategy again. But let's see, what can we do so we don't end up like that? I think I know what to try. Let's play Mechanical Chaser just to... Just to get rid of some of his other monsters. Because we don't want to give him too much, too many strong monsters to use for his relinquish strategy. Because he might try to take... He's probably going to take that against us. That's why I saved the, the tricky in my hand. Oh, he's destroyed that. And he summoned a copycat. Oh, clever. I could use that for something else. Let's see... Let's... Who can we Synchro Summon to help us out for this one? Um, actually... Eh, we can summon Galaxy Serpent. We can't destroy that thing without... Actually, hold on. Let's do this first. And let's push someone tricky too. At least he can get rid of that thing earlier for us. Let's cause some big damage. Nice, alright. And end our turn. Alright, we got him on the ropes now. So. Yeah, Mirror Force. That's why I knew he had something like that. That's why I came prepared. Uh, let's see. I gotta be careful when I'm doing this. So that one mirror force kind of attacked a lot. But I'm not gonna back down on this! Oh great, oh wow, we have all the tuners in our hand, that's crazy. That was nice idle, perfect. Got rid of that thing. World, so we can get his tune monsters out there. And let's get Clock Retinator out there, one of Jack's monsters from 5Ds. And let's start uh, outright blasting everything he has, causing some big damage to him. We totally got this in the bag. I'm gonna summon Water Spirit, and we're gonna make him do this. One compulsory escape device. I'm gonna send Water Tuner out there. He's gonna send his own ones. And we are gonna knock him right out there. Let's finish this. Grandpa, here we come! 16, and that ends! Beaten by a tuner, yes! Yes, that is over for Maximilian Pegasus. Pegasus, you're finished! We've won! It's it's impossible. My my eye, my magic. It all failed me. I've lost. The duel showed Yugi and the spirit inside the puzzle was his friend. Yugi learned that they, if they worked together, they could accomplish anything. Spirit of the puzzle. I don't know how to thank you. It was your courage and your love of friends had for you that prevailed this day, and your and your determination. We all did it together. That's right, as friends. And in the end, that's what it came down to: friends being there for one another. Ha! He won! Yeah. Way to go! Yeah! We all won. Thanks, guys. You can save the souls of Grandpa Seto and Mokuba. However, they're another danger from the shadows. His friend Bakura, still possessed by the evil spirit of the ring, had an agenda of his own. 
So although Yugi thought his problems were over, things are about to get much worse. Now that Pegasus is weakened by his duel with Yugi, he's given me the opportunity I've been waiting for. The time has finally come for me to add Pegasus Millennium Eye to my collection. <laughs> and we got Toon Summon Skull. Ooh, that was nice for Strict. And Toon Goblin Tech Force. Nice, 14 DP. Alright. And looks like our troubles are just beginning even more. Despite defeating Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom Tournament, Yugi noticed that Spear into the Millennium Puzzle was worried about their uncertain future. The, the Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi, and I sense that fate has more in store for us. And we're in this together no matter what. Good, I wish I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. I'll help you figure it out. Later that day, Yugi and Teike came across a fortune teller that offered to tell Yugi his future. Yugi welcomed the opportunity. What are you doing, Yugi? Teya, maybe this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of the spirit inside the puzzle. The fortune teller asked for a personal item which he could use to tell the future. He indicated the Millennium Puzzle be perfect, so Yugi reluctantly handed it, it, it over. Yugi realized it was a ruse when the fortune teller fled with the Millennium Puzzle, leaving a trail of arrows for Yugi to follow. It was a trap, but Yugi had no choice. When Yugi tracked down the thief, he discovered that the fortune teller was none other than Bandit Keith! But there was something different about him. Something or someone was speaking through him. What happened to you? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only speak through him since he's... Who are you, and what do you want with my Millennium Puzzle? I desire your power, your item contains within, but according to the rules of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. As for who I am, let's just say that I'm the one who shall control your destiny as I have controlled others, and that I'm not unfamiliar with the power of Millennium Item. I understand more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Take your Millennium Puzzle, there are ancient secrets buried within it for which you, and even the spirit that inhabits, are unaware. That's why I will add to my collection. The Millennium Puzzle was out of his reach, so Yuki reached for with his mind to try to connect the spirit inside the puzzle. I can barely hear you, Yuki. Our bond is weak. I'm afraid we'll be able to help you with this duel. You gotta fight him alone. Great. Alone? I've never fought a duel without you. That's not completely true. You can defeat him. Just trust yourself in your deck and you'll find a way. Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. I don't think so. Remember, Yuki, I've seen your future. I've foretold your fate, and this duel will be your last. It's time to duel. All right, here we are going to fight with Bandit Keith, who is possessed by Merrick Ishtar. If you remember, and in this duel, if you remember, he actually has a lot more powerful machine monsters the second time around, as well as the Ritual Zera the Mant. So um, just get prepared for that. His strategy is not that he's not that hard. It's just he basically has a basic beatdown deck. He has a basic uh, machine beatdown deck, so just exactly I, mechanical chaser. Most of his machines are high power, low le level fours and hires, so it shouldn't be too hard. In fact, okay, just what I thought. In fact, I'm playing ancient rules. Let's get our dark magician ace right out on the first turn. But, and I'm going to go summon Komori Dragon as well. Nice. Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! Uh, I wish they added a little more style to this game. For some, like, if you've played Tag Force or like that Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal Duel Carnival, like, they have, like, they have the characters talking during the duel and they have, like, battle animations. With the characters, that was like a little cool. That was pretty cool, and it gave the game, you know, it made the game feel more alive. It's kind of like, you know, a little blandish, but it's still good. Curse of Fiend, uh oh. Tribute to the Doom. Oh, of course he would. Clever move. But we're back at it again with the ancient rules. Summon Skull! A powerful monster indeed. Tribute. Tribute to the doomed. Alright. Let's finish this quickly. Nice. Almost over for this one. Uh, 
I think we can just finish him with these guys. Gotcha. Oh, he got Blast Fear. But we still won, without even losing a life point. Nice. As Yugi battled, Bandit Keith Evil Makura found his way to do a following Millennium Puzzle energy with this inner, with Millennium Ring. Fascinating. It appears the shadow magic energies I detected here are within Yugi's opponent, Bandit Keith. Just a puppet under the control of an evil master. Well, this puppet show is over, for I alone shall possess the Millennium Puzzle. My ring, sever the strings that bind this man, free his mind from the shadow realm. Bakura unseen, Bandit Keith was free from the mind control, making Bandit Keith's controller wonder what happened. What happened? My millennium, my millennium spell over Keith has been broken, but how? Only the power of another Millennium item can sever a connection so strong. Uh, where am I? Oh, I got a ground attacker Booger Roth. Tree to the Doom, that's actually a good card. And a heath of explosive, nice. All right, we are out of the Duelist Kingdom and we will return shortly where the Battle City Tournament begins. We will catch you later and see you guys next time.